If scary movies have taught us anything, it's that we should probably stay far, far away from creepy toys. Well, so much so that um, we've done some extensive research uh, in this building and found. What are you about to pull out of it? This is Holly. No, it's not. I'm, ca I'm calling it Holly. I think. Well, can you not call it Holly? But this has been as part of this building for many years and is allegedly absolutely rabid with spirits and ghosts. And you thought you'd bring this and why? And I thought I'd give her to you. I don't want her. I, d I definitely don't want her, but I think I we're think, about to meet a bit. Can you, you know that's fine? I think if you... I think, I think Holly and I need to socially distance from one another. I think she's too close. Are you sure? Definitely needs to be a four-metre rule. Could, maybe her. the fact that you could be with her and you could spend some time with her might might exercise those and, and spirits a wee bit, you make her feel a little bit better yeah. about herself. Fine. Well, let's just sit her there and see what happens, shall we? Clearly. If that thing moves, <laughs> I'm going to hit the roof <laughs> of this studio. Oh, no, stop it now. <laughs> stop it! Stop it! Please stop it! <laughs> Clearly, no-one told uh, <laughs> the fact that you should never, ever play with scary dolls. Uh, uh, our actually horror fans, Sarah Derrickson and her partner, Brian Gilson, in fact, they go out of their way to search out the world's most scary toys and try to find them a new loving home. Well, Sarah and Brian join us now live from Portland, Oregon. Great to see you both. Thanks for joining us today. Um, so this, I mean, I'm freaked out sitting next to this creepy doll. I definitely don't like it. I'm not a fan. But you both are. You love horror in all of its genres. Yes, absolutely. Um, Holly, love cures all. So show show some love to the doll, and it'll just love you right back, right? Precisely. I that's, don't need that's to what I said. That's love what back I said. From from that. Doll. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'll work on it. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So you are you are both horror fans. Explain what it is that you uh, that that you do here. Um, we both really love. Um, that's kind of how we met. Is that we really loved horror movies and scary things. People were always giving us weird, creepy objects. And um, so what we do now is we take really creepy dolls that may be haunted or may just be staring at someone and we uh, find them homes where they're appreciated with people who really like creepy stuff. And so this hobby has turned into a business and, and it's called Unsettling Toys. And how do people find you? Are you mainly sort of on social media and people will send you their toys? How does it work? Um, we have a website where people can look through our unsettlingly available page and see what what toys are up for adoption. Um, a lot of people also find us through Instagram. So, so the people who are getting rid of the dolls, they do, they don't just want to throw them in the trash. Uh, they they uh, they, ha they have a love for them, but they just don't want them in their lives anymore. That's right. Yeah. Um... A lot of people have a lot of things from families, uh, you know, family history things that they just don't want to throw in, in the bin. So they uh, maybe they call us and we pick it up and mm -hmm. or some find of a them, home. Some of them really have a, a love for them and feel that they have maybe energy attached to them or, um, you know, a history with the object. But other people are just afraid to throw it away. Um, they're like, I, I feel like something bad is going to happen to me if I throw this in the trash. So take it. Is it superstition that they don't want to throw them away in case they, they think the doll's going to be upset? Uh, yeah, uh, you know, the uh, what people believe about the toys that they're sending us really varies by person. And in a lot of cases, it's tied into their their beliefs about supernatural or their spirituality or their family history. So there's there's a lot of different reasons that people prefer to send us dolls instead of throwing them away. And so a lot, of these, a lot of these dolls are, um, well, they come with backstories. I've just been, uh, funny enough, looking at your Instagram and some of them have got stories about hauntings, that some of them, there was one, a little girl could hear a voice <laughs> in the night. And these dolls all come to you. Have you had any odd experiences with them? Um, there's, there's one. You want yeah, to okay. grab Claudia? Yeah, I'll grab Claudia. Claudia came to us from uh, a gentleman who has a daughter, and uh, uh, one day the the Claudia fell off the um, fell off a shelf and broke her leg, and 
his daughter broke his, her leg um, a couple weeks later. And so he was like, oh, no, 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 we got to get rid of this thing. And um, it just arrived in a box. And then um, we got the story from him after it arrived because I think that he wanted to uh, make sure it got to where it needed to go before it. <laughs> before he before he shared all the information but yeah that one was well so when this one was in my house it was it was creeping us all out and um my son actually had a bad dream and so claudia stays at brian's house full time now she's not allowed at my house anymore and oh, besides wow. the just so besides the just you know, walking around you know it's it's <laughs> it's been fine what about some? Um, what about? Oh God! Did you see that? No, move don't do that. It don't moved. do that. It just moved a little bit. Then, did you see it move? No, don't stop it. Stop it. Did you see? It no, move? I didn't see it move. I just saw like you one move. arm. It needs a hug. I'd quite like a trip to Portland, Oregon, at the moment to come and hang out with you guys. So you Me. can. Uh... <laughs> oh, oh! <laughs> no, I don't. It's fine. I'll stay here. I'll take my chances with this one. Who's, Who's that? that? <laughs> <laughs> It's got a little devilish face, right? Yeah, this one. This one's very, very old. We think she's about 150 years old, and she is. She has seen some things. Like, oh my gosh, she's pretty intense, and she's got. Oh no! Oh, oh no. no! Oh no! Oh, wait, so we just. It makes me feel quite sad for her, really. I mean, who? I don't mean to be rude, I said, but who wants these dolls in their house? Who's buying these dolls from you? It's it's interesting. Some people buy them or adopt them because they they think they're creepy and they like the creepy aesthetic. Like I mean, she'd be pretty epic sitting sitting somewhere in your house. Definitely a conversation piece. But um, a lot of people also see a little bit of themselves in the toys. You know, the uh, the idea that not being shiny and new is not a flaw, and accepting someone or loving something because of its flaws rather than despite them. Mm, um, yeah. There's a lot of people, like you said, you feel a little bad for. Her. Like people want to want to appreciate them. So what, uh, what about, um, cause we got the broken ventriloquist dummy. Mm, yes. Cappy. Yes. Oh, dear. oh his <laughs> tongue, is that his tongue? It's, well, it's, it's his jaw. His jaw. His jaw's it, broken, it, he's got a broken okay. jaw. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's a, definitely a little unsettling. Oh, and there's Winston. He came from, Oh, Winston. You want to grab Winston? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Winston's a lion. Or he's supposed to be. Oh, I can't, I can't get him. There we go. I don't like that guy. Like, no, that's okay. He's that's, all right. He looks like he's made out of skin, but that's okay. <laughs> he is made of some sort of skin. We don't know what it is. We're kind of afraid to check that out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're not. And his eyes, he's just like, why? Why was this made? But, <laughs> but we love him. Guys, it's been fabulous. It it's has. Been fascinating. Thanks for joining loved us today. It. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye, bye now. Bye, bye. Uh, wow. By the way, that's from the BBC prop department. None of that is true. I, yeah, thank goodness. <laughs> thank goodness.